It says in Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25, that Jesus always makes intercession for us to God, much like a high priest did for Israel. For there is a new covenant that is not ruled by the law, but offered through the grace and mercy of God, who's like a loving father who pricks himself on deadly thorns to free his child caught in a fatal briar patch of iniquity. Bleeding and without concern for himself, he removes one snare after another until you're freed from sin that has condemned you to death. He is your deliverer, your redeemer kinsman, who surely understands that blood is thicker than water, family closer than a stranger. Have you become a part of the family of God, friend? Is there a loneliness that relents both day and night like a gnawing that cannot be satisfied by anything but God's love for you? You're not alone, friend, because Jesus is the only one who did what he did in dying on the cross for you with no ulterior motive other than he loves you. For he is the firstborn of many brethren, and his righteousness robes you as an heir to the throne of grace and transforms you from selfishness to humility, from worthlessness to valued, from being defeated to conquering your world with a confidence that is eternal in what your Savior has done for you. Just say, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, I want you. Jesus, I love you.